pressure on the rope, hold, and wait for him to take a step forward. Good, and pet. So since he's right by the trail, a lot of times you can't get this last step. Okay, good. But if you back him up, back, back. If I back him away from the trailer, now I can probably get one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and give him a release. So you're giving him a lot of yes, yes, that's right. Okay, so steady pressure. And when he's going to at risk of hit, good, release. I'm not going to bump him to the lesson. He can't look outside. Good. So I give back when he gives. I can't pull him hard here because I don't want him to hit his head. But I can pull him hard outside. So in here, it's a gentle, steady pressure. I have a car coming up the driveway. Do you want me to stop them? What? Is a car coming in the driveway. Should I stop them? No, I'll just move him away just so okay. he doesn't. I don't have a shovel down. I just did that for safety's sake. So um, if he wants to smell fine, you don't need to eat that crap. There's good stuff up here. Release. Ah. And when he does something, I can give him something. Say, so here you go. I'm not going to hold it out and say, pretty please come on the trailer. Now I'm going to back him off. Because I don't want to put him in here and then him decide, oh my God, I gotta get out. Right. I want him to relax. Good boy. Yep. Good. Good boy. Back up. Plus, he was on a ramp before. I want to make sure he can negotiate. Back up. That's stepping down mm -hmm. part of it. So if I was to do self loading, I'll rub him, look where I want him to go, and say that word step. Tap him till he takes one and one. Good boy. Point the head to the trailer. Step. Till he takes one forward. Not over to the side. Good boy. Close, up, close the door and pray for, pray for the best, right?
pull the face, they're going to hit the head. Is that a good put two horses in there?